you guys think about the rail project, where we're at, where we're going, and just your general thoughts. As I said before, it'd probably be more easy to get you a ticket to heaven than to get the rail. The rail is kind of messed up. Why do you think it's easier to get to heaven than get on the rail? Well, now look, uh, it might be another 20 years before they get finished. And so, it will surely be easier to get to heaven. All you got to do is just call out to God and ask Him through Jesus Christ to save you and you'll make it to All heaven. Right, let, me, let me ask you this, since we're, we're talking about where the project's going. Now, we're, we're $10 billion into this. The original cost was $4.6 billion. We're all paying for it because it's part of the excise tax. How do you feel about paying for rail, whether you want to or not? Whether you write it or not? Uh, what's your opinion about that? Well, i be honest with you. I think it'd be better that you get yourself a ticket to heaven. That's right. Because it's going to be a whole lot cheaper than rail. All right, Rex. I'm, I'm counting well, on you here to come in with a, a, a different answer or another answer. Well, I can't take an answer right now because I don't really follow um, you guys take public transportation at all? Yeah. Well, well, take bus? I take the bus. Think, yeah. think about it. Think about it. I live in Waianae, too. Yeah. Seattle. <laughs> Seattle surely got their rail for less than what we're ever going to spend. And it runs all through the city. And, and Hawaii could have the same thing. I heard that they went and uh, they scoped out Seattle's style of a rail. But I ever looked like all we wanted was that plush stuff. And when you want the plus stuff, it's going to cost you a whole bunch of money. What that do you, you think about the state? The state's trying to extend the tax with no end date. So your children, your children's children are going to be paying for this rail with no end date in sight. What? How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, I don't feel about paying extra for anything. Tax or no tax, right? We're already taxed out. So. You think taxes are too high? Oh, tax is always too high. And not only that, they're adding more cost to the bus system, too. <laughs> Yeah. And you take the bus from Waianae. How long does that take you to get in the town? Well, well you know, if I go like four, I'll give you one sample. I give, when I go catch a, or the first bus in the morning, it gets about like 45 minutes. But if you're going into the traffic time, it takes about nearly three hours. Three hours one way. Four, and the number 40 does that. What time do you have to be on that bus to get in by 45 minutes into town? Well, where I stand in Waianae, it's in St. John Road. I mean, where the St. John, the highway free of Farrington. I got to walk three blocks down. You know, catch the go to work all the way to uh, to Ala Moana. Uh -huh. So I used to work in, in Waikiki back in before I injured my back. Right. So I'm not working anymore actually. Okay. What so, time were you getting on that bus though to to get in with you know within an hour from uh, Waianae out into town? What I mean? Uh, Was it like six in the morning, five in the morning? Oh, I used to go to the first one. It's four thirty. Four thirty in the morning. Four thirty in the morning. Yeah. And what time did you get off? I uh, it, it it got me before uh, six. And and when you got off. When you, got off, <laughs> when you got off, when you got off, the afternoon, so you're in the rush hour back. What did it take? Two hours? Three oh, hours? Sometimes the, the traffic can. If I take the C bus or even the um, express bus, 93, on the highway, if the, if, that, if, that, if the traffic back up all the way, it takes about, um, I usually take like 3.30, I get off 3.30. And sometimes I won't reach home by 8.30 okay. in the evening. So, Bill? Well, yeah. yeah. Right. Do you take bus? Do you take public transportation? Well, yeah, I do. Okay. Now, what's your feeling about it? Is well, it I, I, want, I want to know, do the bus people have a master? Because it seems like the bus people are running their buses like a track meet. And you look up, there are two or three buses right in a row, the same number. And you think, well, wouldn't that, shouldn't that be 15 or 20 minutes later so, so I can catch it? all bunched up and they, it didn't make yeah. sense to you. Yeah, so it looked like they're running the buses like a track meet. All right. Instead of running the bus, is that a convenient too? So people can get on them and ride them. So do they have a map? Do you have any ideas on how to improve it? Well, who, who is the head of the bus system? Who controls that? Yeah. Don't, the, you, and, and don't it, the mayor control and, and, that? Well, in a, in a way, in the way the mayor does. And, and so what would you say to the mayor on? Well, I uh, think what he, would you say to the mayor about the rail and its cost overruns? And what would you say to the mayor about the bus system? Uh, well, about the rail, he should have followed Seattle's model when he had an opportunity. Yeah. It would have been a lot cheaper. We would have had rail already. Now, I, I'm going to tell you something, <laughs> Bill. I'm from Seattle, yeah. and I was on the ground floor when that thing was put into place, and we had problems just like we do here. But they're not to the extent we have here. Right, right. So we still have problems with the rail. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Yeah, but your rail run all the way from the airport and take you down so you can catch a connection to the Space Needle. That's correct. Our, our rail hasn't got off the ground yet.
What do you think it's going to take to get off the ground? Well, I think when some billionaire might have to come and build us up. <laughs> That's what I think. All right, gentlemen. Bill. Like, I'm going to run out of money trying to pay the taxes. Well, Bill, Rex, I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for sharing it. God bless you. Bye-bye.